just seen the biggest baguette I've ever seen in my life. Oi zoi oi, bad me luck. Oi zoi oi. This is Big C, the Vietnamese Tesco's, the Vietnamese Morrison's, the Vietnamese Asta, the Vietnamese Sainsbury's, the Vietnamese Co-op. And I'm going to show you the different kinds of products you can buy in Big C, Big C. the Vietnamese supermarket. So Big C has a range of different categories. It has homeware, it has clothes, it has groceries. And this particular shot now is coming down from the fifth floor food court area down the escalators to the supermarket grocery area. There's plenty of sunflower oil here, unlike England in April or May 2022. We have the football for high milamin, just under a pound. So much noodles noodle section in Big C. Oh, this football is uh, so new. Wow, that is like 10p maybe, I think. Wow, this one as well. It is a bird's nest drink. There's a special bird that lives in a high up in a mountain somewhere, I think. And so it's really hard to try and obtain the nest that this bird has to be able to make this kind of health drink. But this one here is 323,000, so over 10 pounds. This one's 253,000. This one's 253,000. This is the one that has no sugar. Không đừng, đừng, đừng sugar. Không, no, no sugar. Pretty weird for people who don't know about this. Like, oh, why are you drinking bird's nest drink? But it's actually, it's really good for your health. Strong, makes you healthy. Uh, particularly older people. I think anyone can drink it, but mostly older people drink it. Look yin, look yin. You can actually buy just the nest and then you make the drink or cook it yourself. That, that's the one that's a lot of money, like over a hundred pounds, I think. When I was in Hanoi, I saw some actual bird nest and it was over a hundred pounds. But the During May 2022, it reached upwards of 37, sometimes 38 degrees Celsius. And that kind of temperature, boy, do I sweat a lot. And so I used to drink a lot of revived drinks, a lot of Bacari. These are equivalent of your LucasAid Sports. Um, or your power rays and basically it replaces all the vitamins that you lose when you sweat so your B3 and your B6 this one I drink a lot mum buys me this and auntie's buying me this um, kindly for curry sweat and you more hoi nhiều ở Việt Nam ở Việt Nam nóng quá ở nước Anh lạnh ở nước Anh mười mười bài mười bài đọc xe mười we dám bỏ sức tạo xe ở Thành Nam. Bây giờ Thành Nam ở Việt Nam, 33 độ xe, 35 độ xe. Rồi ôi, nóng quá. Mồ hôi nhiều. Aside from the street coffee, there is an array of coffee that you can buy in the supermarkets. Now, Vietnam is the second largest exporter of coffee behind Brazil in the whole world. And so there is a good reason for that. The coffee here is marvellous. It is absolutely delicious. So here you have your men's toiletry stuff, which is pretty much the same price back home. 83,000 for this deodorant, which is, yeah, just under three pounds. Actually, it's more expensive. I think it's because it's a foreign brand. Yeah, wow, this one's 107,000. 30,000 to a pound, so yeah, over three pounds. Condoms, how much are condoms? Pretty pricey as well. So, yeah, actually these kind of products in Big C are fairly similar to prices back home. It's the local products that are cheap. I think these are imported from somewhere. I'm not quite sure. This is the 
toiletry section, if you like, in Big C. Okay, this is the section that Vietnamese people go to in the Vietnamese supermarkets in England. And they want to buy the jar or the cha lua, the um, sort of like pork ham. Where I live, this kind of thing, frozen, would be five pounds. So that would be mot cham nam mo nhin. Here, oh, <laughs> it's not that cheap. It's mot cham, mot cham nam, uh, dam nhin. So, 350. Let's get a better example. Ah, this one, I've seen this one in Birmingham before for about four pounds. Here's one pound, just a raw one pound. Bambi bunyin. But you've got your jar bar, which is not common in England. Where's the jar bar? Oh, here we go, jar bar. Mostly get um, jar, which is pork in England, or chalua. Oh, here's more chalua. Oh, so it's different. Oh, it has fruits in it. Never had that before. But this is the frozen section of Big C. I love shopping in Vietnam. I like to see different kinds of fruits and vegetables and products. But mainly because of air conditioning. Because it was 38 degrees outside today. I'm sweating my ass off. If you're in Vietnam, this is the fruit to have. Tang Long, which is dragon fruit. This is just under one pound per kilogram. Han sao nhin mot gan. And in England, this is what? Well, this is expensive. Because it needs a hot country to grow in. And obviously it's imported to England, but I think what it needs might be like 10 or 11 pounds. And here is just under one pound per kilogram. But this is beautiful, this dragon fruit. These dragon fruit is Look at this. Got your bananas. Choi. Choi. Can't pronounce that very well. No, that's not avocado, is it? No, the sign says avocado. Oh, that's not avocado. Is that chom chom? Not sure. The fruits. You want your exotic fruits in Vietnam? Oh, you're gonna love it if you come to Vietnam and you love your exotic fruits. Oh, quite new. Oh, quite new. Vietnam. This is the uh, sausage section. Sausage, which is mainly processed sausages in Vietnam. I think the one thing that England does better than in, uh, Vietnam is actually the sausages. I mean, the sausages here are nice, but they're more like you process Frank Frank Furters. I can't say it. Frank Furter sausages. The ones where you put in the microwave and they pop after a minute and burn your hands when you try and get them out. I used to eat them when I was a kid. Put them in the microwave for way too long. Only eat 10 seconds. You just burst them and put them in for two minutes. Here we go. Sausages and dinner. If you like your leafy greens, you are going to absolutely love buying vegetables in Vietnam. If you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, look, look at the selection. Now these types of vegetables you can find in English Asian supermarkets, but they are so, so expensive. Sometimes five, six, seven, even eight times as much as vegetables in Vietnam. Zomong in Vietnam is probably the cheapest vegetable you can get. It's so cheap that this kind of vegetables you can actually feed to animals like pigs or cows. But yeah, these are quite hard to get in England. Zut rare. Zoa Vietnam, zut rare. Oh, look at these. These are cool. And Tesco, these, oh, the corn in Tesco, pre packaged pre-packaged is, I don't know, three pounds sometimes. 
This is Moy Lamnian, this is 50p. Look at these carrots, tomatoes, gachua, gachua, tomato, and your mushrooms. And your don't fall, don't fall at Vietnam. And bamboo, mang, that's a word, and it means mang, yeah, mang something. Yeah, mang is everywhere, mang, mang, mang. Not really a big fan of bamboo. Here's the chicken, which is probably similar prices to England to be fair. But this is, you know, obviously people, a lot of people buy their meat from the markets. But this is the kind of meat you can buy from a you know, supermarket like the Big C. Yeah, look, one, one chicken breast there, it's quite big. 27,000, so just under 30,000. Just under a pound, which I think is the same as England. I'm not quite sure. Oh, the Daniel. Just when you think you didn't have enough street food on the street, you go into Big C and you've got this fried rice, gonna be gum tea and tap gum, which is rice with everything basically, vegetables, your pork. Look at this food, man. So this is a gum binzang, or rice with a selection of dishes which you can choose from. So this is a typical Vietnamese lunch for most workers, but this is in Big C. Now you would have some a portion of rice and then you've got the ability to choose what dishes you would like. They're prepared in advance and displayed like you can see here. This involves tofu, chicken, pork, beef, a range of vegetables and it ranges from 10,000 to 11,000 per 100 grams. The ganyo, eh? mm. Is that non? So you've got, your, you've got your chicken here for machan yin. For three pounds. You've got your Kentucky fried chicken over here. Well, not really. Now, of course, in Vietnam, there is a lot of different fried chicken options. However, if you want to eat fried chicken at a convenient and cheap price, then I do recommend eating chicken here. It's not too bad, to be fair. 13,000 for 100 grams, so that's just under 50p for 100 grams. Obviously, it's not like KFC or Popeyes. However, it is pretty crispy and it was very tasty. Everything for under a pound. Remember, 30,000 to a pound. 22,000. 35,000. Fried chicken is more expensive than the um, rotisserie chicken. Here, it's like a salad. Salad? Yeah. Oh, this is like a corn dog. I had one in America. All right, and there, yeah, there's your sausage, your typical processed kind of sausage in Vietnam. Oh my god, look at these cakes! This food is amazing, absolutely destroys the supermarkets in England. Oh, these cakes are so nice in Chinatown in London. This type of cake, three pounds, so it's just over a pound here, not like crazy cheap compared to London. Look at the colours. So vibrant. So you could just come to the big seat and just buy the food already prepared. It'll be healthier now. You've got your pizza here. Oh, I've seen just seen the biggest baguette I've ever seen in my life. Oi zoi oi, bad me luck. Oi zoi oi. This bread is so big. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe. And comment down below. What did you like in this video? What product did you like? I'd really love to hear your thoughts.